More people have been to the moon than some of the places that I've been to. I'm here to collect samples of calcite that were deposited in caves over thousands and thousands of years. No one has constructed a cave-based climate record for Greenland before and I think that's just because caves containing calcite, they're so remote. Three days and we're still walking. The rocks are so loose, it's like surfing on marbles. One of the best things about fieldwork is that there's always surprises. But right at the back of the cave in the ice, and this is what we see in most of the caves uh, so far. But this one's got quite an interesting find because we found the remnants of a dead bird. The bird is not modern, it's definitely old. The different layers of calcite are like tree rings or different layers in ice cores and I can use the different layers to construct a record of climate change for this region. I really like the remoteness of caves. I like the journey that you go on. And even when you've been in a cave before, you still see new things every time you go in there. So have we got enough sample then? The best part of my job is that I get to go and see these absolutely amazing places and produce something that is hopefully valuable to all of us in the future. Do you know that maybe we should take some more for pollen analysis? Approximately 2,000 beluga whales come here every summer to molt their skin, socialize, raise their young, and it's just a big beluga party. 